With only 10 lands in the deck, Miracle Grow never had a problem finding mana. Land Grant was obviously the most important card in the deck. You could play one land if you kept a one lander, reveal with Land Grant, and then get a forest for free. Free spells partnered with Kyrian Dryad made this deck a powerhouse, and this creature got huge fast. Dryad didn't do it alone, however. There was also three merfolk that took center stage a lot of the time. Looter generating card advantage, Lord of Atlantis making them bigger and also giving them evasion, this paired with Gaia Skyfolk made it almost impossible to block. So, what do you do with a bunch of unblockable merfolk? Well, allow me to sate your curiosity. They drew extra cards. While they attacked with all their tutus, they also utilized Winter Orb to hammer your opponent on mana. You may be thinking, there's a lot of cards here. Well, we're only halfway through. Ten lands means a lot of other spells. Brainstorm gave the deck a ton of one mana card advantage. That's great, but Slide of Hand gave us more card selection. Brainstorm in conjunction with Slide of Hand allowed you to more easily search for answers when needed. The answers we're looking for are free counterspells that also buff our dryads. Days allows us to bounce an island rather than pay its mana cost, which can be incredibly important when we're trying to foil their plans. This card is essentially a more disadvantageous version of Force of Will, which is an incredibly powerful and also free card. Speaking of free cards, Gush is our final one in the deck. This card in combination with Foil allowed you to return an island, which is key, and draw two cards, which you can then discard to counter a spell. In 2001, Miracle Grow quickly became the deck to beat. The next deck we're going to talk about is really going to break the threshold. But, for now, 